What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Oblo here. Since we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Saw X. We'll be talking about Megan. And we'll be talking about this God of War TV show that I guess is coming to Amazon. Just to kick it off though with Scream 6. Scream 6 released its first teaser yesterday but so much was going on that I overlooked these new tidbits from Viewer 9. I will continue to use this because that's how insignificant I find this shit to be. Um, if you don't want to know that the grass is green on the outside then you can go ahead and click away from the video aka if you don't want any minor spoilers or any spoilers at all stop watching so the movie apparently test screened so well that there's slim chance of another one occurring because they already basically nearly have this picture locked there's minimal changes that will be made to it and i guess it was scored so highly that they have this much confidence in the movie now hopefully we don't end up in a halloween kill situation because we know that that scored very well as well but big screen leaks echoed this sentiment from viewer non so hopefully we have a great movie on the way and again not a situation of a halloween ends or a halloween kills even though halloween ends i don't believe have phenomenal test screen results either viewer non also revealed that samara's role in the movie samara weaving that bean is a blackmore professor Tara will have a romance. Chad seems to be the heart of the upcoming film. And Gail is in it more than she was in Scream 5. All very exciting stuff. Last thing I want to acknowledge is the theory about Mindy being killed on the subway based on that teaser. Keep in mind, although it doesn't look good for her in that moment, she could still live. There's also a chance that when this occurs, she is separated from the rest of the group. Having an out of context teaser is very likely considering, again, all of the spoilers that came out prior to Scream 5 even filming and how they're trying to protect this movie. This time around learning from the mistakes of what happened with fives production also viewer non has claimed that even though the runtime isn't officially locked in completely from what they know uh off of what they have been able to collect the movie could be two hours so it could be the movie that is the closest to scream 2 but i think we heard the same thing for scream 5 so hopefully this movie is a little bit longer than five uh, and it can be one of the more longer entries that we've gotten since two because of the fact that we know they're going to try to develop all the characters a little bit further so i can't wait to see how that plays out just to jump jump into saw x uh we have four new cast members i'm probably going to butcher some of these names renata vaca paulette hernandez joshua akamoto octavio hinojosa have all been cast in saw x now again i'm pretty sure i just butchered several of those names but all four of them have joined the growing cast of saw x we learned last week that shawnee smith will star in the upcoming film after her character along with john died in saw 3 back when some of us were kids in the early 2000s to amanda and um john have been dead for for years <laughs> tobin bell we know is returning also as jigsaw and just to recite the rumor of what this story is since there's a lot of confusion on why multiple dead stars are returning saw x is set to be between saw and saw 2 it's just yet to be revealed officially by Lionsgate. tobin bell is the lead and according to viewer and on he will have more screen time than he's had in any of the other movies that he starred in now a kramer centric narrative that works and then concludes with another iconic franchise twist will immediately propel itself up to the top five of the series for me there is no word on who specifically the new cast members will be playing but only time will tell i am very intrigued to see how a john kramer centric narrative does play out and when i say john kramer centric i know he has been a a major component of these other movies but i don't think we've ever had a single film where we just mostly focused on him it was always cutting back and forth between other characters and letting other people carry the story while the villain was in the background now with him at the at the center of the story this could be very eye-opening for a lot of stuff regarding john and his cancer and why he is the way that he is in terms of some of his traps that he likes to do in this jigsaw persona that we know he has we've learned so much about him but maybe again from a centric narrative from his perspective we could learn a lot a lot more that we don't already know or get more context even now just to jump into megan a new clip was released where we basically are shown Gemma or Gemma explaining how megan is able to assist parents with their time management or something like that because she will be the one keeping an eye on your child when you don't have time now that doesn't sound like something to really put a lot of trust into 
Um, she's very helpful. Megan seems to be very helpful with the bathroom too, as seen in the clip, because Katie is reminded multiple times by this doll to wash her hands and flush the toilet after using the bathroom. No judgment here, but at that age, I wouldn't just be using the bathroom and not flushing or washing my hands, but that's neither here nor there. The clip seems very welcoming and certainly only will make the dark turn the AI takes later on that much more suspenseful, hopefully if it's executed well. It was a short clip that gave a look at the way Megan will care for Katie as a friend a guardian and in a way kind of just someone who's overbearing like a lot of parents can be or some guardians can be uh when her aunt is too busy to do so now while this will be appealing to some people again for some of us that is a scary idea that you would put so much trust in an ai to take care of a child that you yourself are more than capable of taking care of because if you don't want to take care of the child maybe the child shouldn't be in your custody that's really all i have to say there because this clip it is something that looks a little bit more along the lines of the light-hearted light-hearted aspect of the film because we know it's going to get dark and twisted and i've seen from the reactions it does kind of have that balance between being comedic and being scary so this definitely was more along the line the lines of comedic because if somebody randomly walked in they would probably think you're watching a child's movie if you go look at this clip you'll see what i'm talking about it was a pretty cool small clip now just to jump into this last bit of news regarding god of war those of you who are familiar with the video game you already know what this is you probably have already been keeping up to date with it too because i think a god of war series was first reported earlier this year but a god of war series has been ordered by amazon uh, variety provided this following synopsis about it based on the massively popular 2018 video game the show follows kratos the god of war who after exiling himself from his blood-soaked past in ancient greece hangs up his weapons forever in the north realm of midgard and then one of Amazon's executives said this about the show. God of War is a compelling character driven franchise that we believe will captivate our global customers as much with its expansive and immense worlds as its rich storytelling. All I have to say there is I love playing that game growing up. Um, I have very fond memories. I love that character of Kratos. Uh, I love all the mythos about the character and this right here you know we have the last of us coming so we see like a i don't know i, I think i don't think the last of us is the first to do that if you have like a a sea of t video games based video games turn tv shows on the way there's so many I, I would love to see not just god of war not just the last of us they already just got done doing the walking dead but maybe we at some point can get a walking dead telltale tv show based off clementine story for those of you who are familiar with that but what are you guys thinking about this god of war show are you looking forward to it are you a fan of god of war if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video